Hello, welcome back to a new episode of our Black Ice Hearts of Iron 4 Communist USA. And we will be continuing where we left off last time. So, let's do a little recap. We are almost a year in. We've uh, rearranged our forces and, and our fleets and stuff and well, we just started producing things. We're still producing a few ships and I believe that um, soon we will have some research done which we can use and well we'll just have to see how it goes let's just continue time and continue the exploration of this nice mod so far I really like it it's really in-depth you have a whole other feel of playing this game and I didn't even go to war yet so it just feels you're more in control of things there's all these little details in production and stuff which you can control so we have to build uniforms and stuff that's really nice although this is the first time I really am playing a decent game of it so I hope I will be able to do to continue to do a good job so we have the communist supporter in so our communism is growing which is good so we should check Let's get the one with the political power gain, because we had a small loss and now we have a gain every day, which is good. So, we won't be losing any political power anymore, and we will be using all that political power. Let's see, we have the main class. Destroyer, well the next class is far ahead of time, so we won't be doing that. Yeah, it appears all other ships are ahead of time, so no ships to research right now. Do we have to research tanks also ahead of time? Airplanes are not in yet, so I hope that will come soon. So, let's find another research. These are also ahead of time, but that's really good. Extra factories and stuff. So, let's see. Civilian factory construction speed. Well, I guess that's something we could use. So, let's just go for that. So we have almost everything in the green, which means our naval bombers are being built, which is good. And our modern or medium artillery is, is being built quite steadily. When everything's in the green we can start training troops or something, so we'll have to see what we will be doing then, but that's an option. So we've increased our entrenchment. We can do the entrenchment speed or the land and coastal fort construction. I'm not really sure we need those, but we could also go for a headquarters communication, which increases planning speed, which will be nice if we are planning things. So when you plan a war, etc. Ooh, we have things happening. The Spanish Civil War. Well, that's one of the things we probably can't intervene in. We can't do anything about it, but. Well, we can check in a later stage. So this one is done. Factory repair speed is up and the production capacity is up. So we can also go for skill and training. The repair speed will go up further. When we change out uh, new weapons, then the efficiency retention is higher and production efficiency capacity goes up. So yeah, let's go for that. It will make our factories work even more efficient, which is also good. And let's check. We are producing. See, now these numbers can go up. And that's good. Well, it will mean we produce more. So it will probably go up to 0 0.7, 0 0.8. See, 0 0.7, so we will produce stuff faster. That's really good. I like that. So I thought we've split up our submarines as well there, but apparently we didn't separate them, now we did. Well, those aren't the big issues right now, we just have to get ahead in time and continue till we can always enter a war or something. Six more days, we have a research done. The support is slowly growing, which is good. The Pax Americana, what will that do? can intervene in wars between American countries, so that will be nice. But I believe 
there are other things that are really nice like the electronics and support technology 50% bonuses I believe those are real nice so let's check our laws we can't change our laws because we have very strict laws in our country and uh, we can only change them by focuses until we reach civilian economy then we can do some manual changes but I believe we can speed up some research things like the industrial research or electronics research or infantry equipment research so usually I am pretty much for that so we will do the standard oil of California and get industrial research time down so we can research all those industries faster so we have faster research this one's still ahead of time with a big penalty so we won't be getting into that once this one's done and it will be done in 28 days we can research all these factories and probably think that's nice because then we can build more of the factories in a state so let's check let's go for the better fighter as the US we will probably be building quite a big air force to support all our troops in the battlefield well and that's the way to do that I always like to keep an eye on how fast my ships are going. Well, this one will be done pretty fast, but these big ships well, will take a while before they finish. Although we already started on our carriers, that's good. But yeah, quite a few of these ships will take a while before they're done. So probably won't be building new ships anytime soon. But we will be getting strong fleets, so that's okay still building new let's put that one up we're still building new shipyards so that will continue in a nice way perhaps because we are already building a lot of ships we can destroy this one and start building on some military factories I think that's a good choice as well because then we can build more equipment and prepare for war I believe that will be nice so let's do some researches in this area so we can build those factories fast and quite a lot of them soon I do wonder though if you get if it takes long enough to the game takes long enough to build all those factories because you have all these options to build them but would really be nice if we can get a few but I don't know if there's time for that in this game reinforce rate will go up then we can research radar yeah I think it's a good choice to do that basic machine gun teams that's the one we are using to better our equipment well if we do trench mortars for instance our defense and breakthrough will go up so let's go with that it's all small percentages but could just be the percentages we need to really improve it and get that little bit of extra punch when we have to fight somewhere and when we are communists uh, we will probably be doing a little bit of fighting so would be a nice thing luckily we can uh, keep the game at an interesting speed ooh the Hindenburg disaster happened let's check let's go with the Bureau of Ships we'll make ships cheaper to build and we can get some better technologies so Japan and China should be getting close to a war since we had the Marco Polo bridge instance he is now getting the focus to go to war with China well, it will be interesting to see how that goes in the meantime once this infrastructure is done we should be out of our supply problems which will also be nice I don't like those supply problems so. skill and training nice so these are all ahead of time so really not interested in getting them so let's get better research done on all those type of factories so we can build a few of those 
If we check the bonuses, like with dockyards, that's really good. So yeah, I want more of those factory types to speed up our production. We're almost in the green now. And with naval carrier bombers, we are in the green, so that looks good. So, this one's done, I guess. Hmm, don't really know what I researched. That's okay though. Anything else we need here? Don't believe so, because these are resources we already have, which is real nice. So, let's just continue. Three different types of factories being researched. Change in popularity of communism will go up quite big. That's good. Ooh, that will help us. Yes, we're over halfway. It goes slower though. The bigger your influence gets, the slower it will grow. But only 8% to go and we are over halfway. And once we're over halfway, we can try to get um, a coup and then we are just the leaders and we are a have turned communist so we have achieved one of the goals of this game so I would like that the Bureau of Ships is done and we can see that we have quite a lot of naval dockyards that's good so should we fund the navy or go with carriers or something let's go with carriers because that's the one we want you want a big ass carrier fleet. Well, you can see carriers are being built. One will join the Pacific fleet, one the Atlantic, that's good. We will need airplanes for that, but well, that will be no problem. And we do have to invest in convoys at some point. But just not right now. We do have plenty of men but probably need those to switch out these because oh well this is really big really big division so there's the national guard the national guard is quite big infantry is smaller but we will probably increase those to a level as the, that's the same to the national guard but probably with other support units i don't really know yet well, we will find out. First we need to gain some experience somehow to, to be able to change out those templates. Well, we don't have many things to worry about right now. Because we are in a pretty safe position, so... Oh yes, so we have some research is done. Our mortars are done, so let's get sniper teams for better defense. Then, one that was done. Oh, we can get better recon infantry and quite a lot of other things. Oh, well, there's probably most to gain if we use our bonuses for these because it's 50%. And 50% of 120 days is less days bonus than when you do it of another one. So let's get this one. So we have some things ahead of time because of those research bonuses. I would like that. So percentage wise the bonus is the same, but the bonus in days is bigger. We have a small arms factory done. Oh, let's keep re researching those factories. One more will be researched. Perfect. Well, research build in this case. So, hopefully, in a few years, all our ships are done. Then, Kuko capitulated. We have the carrier thing. Naval bombers. No, not yet. Escort efficiency will decrease the build cost of destroyers. Alright, doesn't appear Japan is doing a good job.
believe it would be pretty safe to say that they suck. <laughs> Interesting. Well, you won't be doing a normal run with joining the allies and stuff, so we'll have to see. Soldiers desert to communist partisans. Perhaps they're merely fighting for a different United States. Oh, we gain a very big bonus. Ooh, we should get the coup on the coup decision anytime soon. Or well, they have removed it from this game, I don't know, but should be able to get that. Alright, so we are producing a lot of stuff. The question is, what do we need more of? And that's an interesting question. For a cavalry division, what do they need? Transport vehicles, armored cars. I, I really like a motorized army because they're quick. They also need cavalry equipment, I just don't know why. But we need normal transport vehicles and... This is the good one. This is probably a normal transport fi artillery truck transport. So, I think we need... This was the one we need for... A division consisting of motorized. Transport vehicles, yeah. Alright, so we'll start building normal transport vehicles. Let's completely topple it, that's good. We could use a few extra factories for our basic equipment as well. But let's start building some trucks. So we can switch to a motorized army. I think I would like that. Just hope we are producing everything for that. So that's one of the things. It feels real complex. So I think if you want to do a real decent run of this game, you have to complete a few games first to know by memory what a motorized unit needs and stuff. I, I just don't know. So I have to search for that all the time. And well, that just takes time. So, the referendum one, we can stop it, let's just do it, and we will change to the communist USA. And here we are, we are now communist. We managed to do it, people. I like it. We are communists. Alright, so our first goal is achieved. Let's just hope we can continue this. Let's hope we can get better laws soon, so we can get much, many more civilian factories to use for building. That will be nice. Although these go pretty fast. Escort focus. That's nice. War propaganda. Change mobilization law. That's nice. New mobilization laws. That's good. So, let's start training some troops. Because that will probably mean... Oh, we lack armored car units. Good to see that. We have a utility vehicle. So we have to find out what is this is probably the armored car then. Let's put it up there as well. So we will start producing armored cars. experience and we can use that experience to help our divisions. I guess it's still complaining about armored cars. 
Well, we are building them right now. So as soon as an, another pop-up comes in, we have to see what it is and we can start producing that. Interesting. Alright, air technology. Oh, the Japanese bought a plane from China or something? Or Russia? Russia, perhaps. Oh, our manufacturers did it. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So the Japanese now have that plane. Mm. That's a 38 plane, so... Alright, so we need to find another research to do for ourselves. This is very interesting. Let's go with that one. Speed up that research. Alright, so we have... Yeah, we're gaining decent amounts. That's good. And our troops are being trained. Nice. So... So they have different types of support. These have recon, these don't. I will put them on normal reinforcement rate. And we will start editing this one and adding an infantry battalion. I mean, these are all infantry, I believe, yes. Oh, these are also all infantry, so that's good, but well, let's just do it like that. We want the strongest division possible, so we will be doing quite a bit of updating. We can check how our ships are progressing. Our carrier's already done, yes, good. So, quite a few ships are being built, quite a few still have to be completed, though, so to see how that will continue. Military factories and infrastructure or better laws. We will go for better laws right now. Extra men we can recruit, that's nice. Basic uniforms factory done. Let's get the submarine factory. So we are in 38, so we can check out some new technology soon to discover. Could be helpful. The Anschluss is done. That's rather interesting. So Germany is growing and growing and growing. Let's invest in a better recon squad because that will surely help. We have a better engineering company. Flamethrowers. I'm not using those yet. Don't know if I will, so let's wait with that. Let's see, it's 38, so we can get some extra stuff. I'm not really sure if we will use light infantry. Perhaps we should be researching new tanks. Yeah, I think so. We do want tanks in our army at some point, so... Let's see what we are missing. Oh, we can't see it anymore. Too bad. Not really sure what we're missing. Well, these are all trained up. Now let's check. We have enough. Let's add those infantry units we want. Then these, this is a better division than the other ones. The because these are the national guard ones, and we want them to be infantry, except this one. So let's switch them all out to be infantry divisions. They're just a little bit stronger. And these as well. They all need to be infantry divisions. Especially those garrison units. We don't need garrison units, we want strong units there. Especially on all the islands in the Pacific, because, well, we need to protect those islands against the Japanese. 
So, that worked. Let me just check on how costly it is to add those support. Well, that's still 10, so that's good. So soon we can add more support units to our infantry divisions. They will have to retrain, especially when all those new guys are coming in. So when that's done, we will be stopping the training, just not right now. Alright, it is 1938. Can we do some real good new research? Oh, this is helpful. Faster planning speed. We need some rubber. Oh, we don't have factories for that. Oh, shame. Can we build some rubber things? Not yet. Oh, yes. Better laws. Better laws. Uh, these aren't really interesting. We need to get this one. We need more world tension, so let's do some military constructing then. Let's get a new research. So, slowly we are evolving into at least a uh, research wise to a, a good country. But, well. I believe we're still far away from b really being the powerful country we want to be. Because we don't have a big army yet. But we're getting there. And as you can see, only five ships not in production. Or this is slowly in production. Four ships not in production. So that's good. We can start thinking about what we want to build as a new fleet. I think it's, it will be a good thing to start on convoys, because we were needing them for naval invasions and stuff. But we should also think about really building a new fleet, entirely new fleet, to seal the seas. Alright, tanks almost done. There it is. M2A4 light tank. Perfect. So, we did research. Right. Better carrier. And this is a normal carrier. This is a light carrier. Can I put them up together? Yes. What's the difference? This is more manpower. Same sub detection, with disc into shore bombardment, the other one can't. This, the other one has better evasion. Port capacity usage, bigger. Maximum speed is higher, hit points higher. Yeah, so let's just go with the Essex class. We want the best carriers available to us. And we will start building them soon. So we should really be able to build a big fleet, I believe. So, yes, we have dockyards free. So, let's start building some convoys. I'll put up a few lines of those. And in the meantime, we will be researching those carriers, and then we will start building carriers. And we can do like three or four at the same time. That would be nice and helpful but will still take about a year, so still a long time. Yes, five military factories, done. Good to see that. Let's fund the navy and get some naval doctrines in soon. Okay, let's get a few extra armored cars. Let's start producing a bit of fighters. I do believe we need those fighters. Is everything in the green? Yes, everything is in the green, so that's good. Alright, I'm pretty happy with uh, where we are going.
I hope you guys are as well. So, we are in for it another half an hour. So we will pause at the 15th of July, right now. We have a research finished. Very nice. I will pick another one. And that will be the end of this stream. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Um, feel free to leave comments, give me tips or anything. And I hope you uh, join me in on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.